Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today we are going to make this simple stylized flower pot and I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do, please don't forget to leave that like and if you are new to the world of 3D and Blender and you want to learn in the most effective way, be sure to check out my courses. I carefully designed them to take you from beginner skills through local illustration all the way to full character illustration and textured environment. So if you're interested, please check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into M2 Blender file and first thing we'll need three components for this, the flower pot, um, some leaves and the flowers themselves. So first of all, let's delete the light and the cube. We can leave the camera in place. So let's select them, press X and delete. And now let's press Shift A and we'll add a circle. Now let's modify the circle to only 12 vertices. We'll subdivide that anyway. And now tap into the read mode and let's make this smaller by pressing S like this. And now press F to fill and E to extrude. Press S to scale it up, E to extrude again and let's make it smaller. And now extrude once again and press S again to scale it up. Now press X and delete those faces. And now we'll use several modifiers to make this look, you know, nice and stylized. So let's go to the modifiers panel and let's first add solidify modifier and let's increase the thickness and let's set even thickness as well. Now let's tab out and let's go ahead and add the bevel modifier and increase the segments to two and reduce the amount to something like this. Um, but I don't want the bevel um, to be happening right here. So basically I will bevel this manually. So tab into the edit mode, alt click this loop and press control B to bevel. And let's create something like this. Okay. And now the bevel is still there. So we'll modify the angle here. So let's set something like 45 until it disappears and we only have bevels on these sharp corners. So now we are able to press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface, right click and shade smooth. And optionally we can tap back in and play with the shape of this, uh, make it maybe more wide, like that. Or if you want, you can make this sharper and create something like this. And probably that would look great, so let's make this a little bit wider here and basically this is the flower pot so now let's create another component let's press g then x move this to the side and let's press shift a and let's add a plane now tap into the edit mode press s and scale it down like this and then s then y to scale it on y axis just like this let's look from the top and let's press ctrl r and increase with the mouse wheel to create three cuts like this and right click to release and now press one for vertex select Select these two at the bottom, press S to scale it down. Now here as well. And let's scale this all the way towards the front like this. And now let's take care of the shape from the side. So let's look on the side and we can enable X-ray view right here. And let's just move this all the way right here using G and then select these and press G to move them around like this. And now let's press Ctrl R and create the cut in the middle, right click to release, create only one cut. And now we can select the bottom bird, press G twice, slide it a little bit, and then press Alt and slide it outside. And let's do the same thing here. So G twice, begin the slide, hold Alt and slide outside. Now let's press A to select all and Alt E and extrude along normals. Let's give this some volume, not too much. We'll modify this manually. And let's look from the side again by pressing 3 and let's select these vertices right here and make this more bulky towards the middle and a little bit more narrow towards the end like this. And now press 2 for edge select, select these two edges by holding shift and press Ctrl B and create the bevel and increase number of cuts with the mouse wheel to 2 like this. And now press 1 for vertex select again, select these and slide them outside. So it's more relaxed and now select these vertices in the middle. Let's look from the side and let's push them inside like this and rotate a little bit. So again, we kind of follow um, this shape right here. Okay. And now we can tab out and press control two to add subdivision surface modifier. And now you have a nice leaf. So let's disable the X-ray view, right click and shade smooth. And now let's press G then X, move it to the side again. And the last thing I want to create are the flowers. Um, and sometimes you might see something like that and think like it's too difficult to make. But in reality, it's very simple. 
um, you only need to take the essence of the object, in this case the flower made out of petals, and create one petal and repeat it around until you have a similar shape. So let's press Shift A and we'll add the plane again, tap into the edit mode, press S to scale it down, like this, and now let's look from the side and enable X-ray view. And now let's press G and move it to the side like this, so it sits on the origin point there. And let's select these vertices on the side and press G and move them like this. And now by holding control and right clicking, we can extrude the shape of the flower petal. Something like this. Now let's modify it a little bit. And now we'll need to take care of the shape, so let's look from the front. And let's select the top vertices and scale them together and let's create like a really organic shape. Like this. And I think this might work just fine. Maybe it's a little bit too wide here towards the top, so let's make it more narrow here. Okay, and now same as before, we can tab out. Let's disable X-ray view and we can add solidify modifier and increase the thickness and enable even thickness. Now we won't be adding any bevels, so let's just press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface modifier and right click and shade smooth. And now we can add some loops in the bottom and let's play with the shape some more. So I want to scale this on X axis, these two as well. So finally you should have something like this here. Now let's tab in and we'll need to uh, modify the shape a little bit. So let's look from the top and let's press Ctrl R to create the cut in the middle. Right click to release and then press G then Y and move it outside. So you create a curvature like this. We don't need to move the bottom one of course. Like this. Now tab out, look from the top again by pressing 7 on an numpad and press Alt D then R to rotate this and repeat by pressing Shift R a few times. And now we can just scale some of these around. Um, they don't need to be the same and this way we can take care of some of these overlaps or you can, for example, tilt them if you want, move them around to make this look, you know, a little bit more random, a little bit more natural. Um, and then uh, we can duplicate this, so let's select them all, press Alt D and press S to scale it down and move it up and rotate. So we have some variation there and we can scale this whole thing on the X and Y axis at once. So let's press S then Shift Z and scale it like this. Okay and optionally we can just take one of these pedals, press Shift D so we can modify its shape, press R to rotate, now go into the edit mode, toggle the x-ray, and we can for example delete some of these vertices, press X and delete them, and just move this around, to create something like this, and now let's look from the top again, press Alt D and R, and just Shift R a few times to replicate that, and optionally, we can adjust the angle, so press R, then X twice to rotate this around its local X axis. So now, if you're satisfied, you can just select everything, hold Shift, and select the original pedal. And let's press Ctrl P and Parent to Object, so this way, when you move this pedal, the whole thing will move as well. And let's just move this on Y axis, and let's select the path, press Alt G to reset its location and we can make this a little bit lower and let's press Ctrl A and apply scale. Now let's select the leaf, let's look from the top, press Alt G and G then Z to move this up and again we'll press Alt D then R and Z to rotate this like that and Shift R to repeat and optionally we can adjust manually by pressing R and X twice to rotate around its local X axis Let's move this down a little bit. And now we can press Alt D and Z, move this up, make it smaller and press R then X twice for all of them and we can do this all at once. And let's just move them around. So G then Shift Z to move them around X and Y axis. 
something like this. And now let's select the flower. Let's look from the front and press G and move it up. And like this, let's press S and make it smaller. And now I want to find some nice position for this and create a few more. So with this petal selected, select everything. It should stay yellow like this and press Alt D and duplicate it. And let's make it smaller. And for example, rotate a little bit, move it to the side, and then one more. And you can press R twice to enable trackball rotation and just place them like this. Okay, and now the only thing is to create the stems. So with the cursor still down there, we can press Shift A, add a plane, now tab in and press M and merge at center so that we have only one vertex there. Now let's press one on an numpad for the front view and enable X-ray again. And we can move this up in the object mode a little bit. So tab out, press G then Z and move it up like here. And now tab out and press E then Z, extrude it like this. And now let's look from the side by pressing three on an numpad and we can create something like this and it should match perfectly. Okay, um, that's quite enough. So tab out, right click and convert to curve. And in the geometry tab, let's increase the bevel depth. And we can reduce the resolution to two and add subdivision here as well by pressing Ctrl 2 in the viewport. Now let's disable X-ray view. Now let's look from the top by pressing seven on an numpad and we can press Alt D, right click to release and R to rotate so it points towards this flower right here. And optionally, of course, we'll need to tilt it a little bit. So let's just find the angle and move it right there. Maybe a little bit towards the middle and scale it down by pressing S. And now let's look from the top. Again, Alt D and R and rotate it like this. And a little adjustment right there. So this stem is a little bit, you know, going through the leaves. So that's not optimal. So we can just select the flower with the petal and move it around a little bit. Maybe push this down a notch. Okay, something like this. And now let's select everything that matters here. So these main petals, um, the stems, and all the leaves and let's hold shift and select the pot as last and press ctrl p and parent to object so this way when we move the pot the whole thing moves and now let's just press shift a add a plane now i'll tab in scale it up and just create the basic setup with some basic lighting so let's press shift a we'll add a light area light move it up and add some power like 150 and now in the render settings i'll switch to cycles Enable sound denoising and reduce the samples to 512 here and switch to GPU. And now let me see through the camera by pressing zero on an numpad. And here when you press N for the side panel and in the view settings, you can enable camera. Let me expand this camera to view. So now we are able to position our camera with our viewport controls. So let's do something like this. Let's disable it press N to hide the panel and I want to change the resolution to something like 1600 to 1200 select the camera and move it closer a little bit like that and now press ctrl B and limit the render preview only to camera bounce hold Z and switch to rendered and I think this is a little bit too strong so let's make the light larger so we have like a large soft light coming from above and now we can press shift a add another one and just move it to the side let's switch this to disk and let's give it some power as well something like 100 so we have some light from the side there and let's create another one towards the back a little bit further away there'll be like softer light and then I want to create one that's like directly behind the flower. So we have some backlight. Now select the background, add some material. And I think something like this should work nicely. And for the pot, let's go some vibrant color and we can reduce the roughness here. And I would like to make this a little bit more rounded. So let's increase the bevel amount here. Like that. 
And for the leaves, let's find some nice shade of green here. Something like this. And let's leave the roughness as is and let's give the same material to the stem. And for the flower, um, let's try something like this. Or maybe, yeah, maybe something violet with increased roughness. And if you want, you can press Ctrl C over the base color and copy it to subsurface and increase the subsurface value. They'll make it, you know, a little bit translucent, but I think this is a little bit too strong. So subsurface radius should be a little bit lower, something like 0.1 or even 0.05 to make this really subtle. And yeah, basically now we can play with the color of these lights in the background with the background roughness and with the world color, which will blend all of these colors nicely together. And let's add one more really strong light from above. Okay, I think this looks quite okay. And finally, we can go to the render settings and in the color management, switch to medium high contrast, for example, and play with the exposure if yours is a little bit too dark, for example, but I will make these leaves a little bit darker and maybe change the color on the background. Okay, something like this. Well, let's play with this color right here as well. And I think this subsurface is still a little bit too strong. So um, let's modify this and let's reduce the radius here. And now we can just go to the rendering tab, press F12 and wait out our frame. So that's it for today's illustration. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please don't forget to leave that like. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.